What is up guys, Photo Fever here, and welcome back to another Tuesday Two Minute Tutorial. Now it's that time of year again guys, where the sky is constantly overcast in England, and it can sometimes, you can get some quite drab photos. So today I'm gonna to show you how you can add more dynamic range and drama to the actual overcast sky just using Photoshop. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and choose a photo that you'd like to add more dynamic range to or more drama to the sky. So what we're going to do is we're going to load up our sample photo, which is this photo here, which has got a good amount of drama already, but again, we can add more. So what we're going to do is we're going to first thing we want to select the sky. Now, luckily within Photoshop 2022, we've actually got a sky select in built into Photoshop. So we're going to go up to select here and we're going to go drop down to sky. And if you're working on an older version of Photoshop, all you need to do is just use either the magic wand or quick selection tool and just select the sky. And as you can see, Photoshop has actually done a really good job. I think the sky selection built into Photoshop is actually really, really good. So what I'm gonna do is go down to the bottom right-hand corner, guys, and we're gonna go ahead and select solid color. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and choose a black. And we're gonna go ahead and click OK. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our blending mode options here, and we're gonna go drop down to linear burn. Now, as you can see, not much has changed. So what we want to do is go to our fill layer here, and we want to drop it down to around about 35%, and it creates this really dramatic, very dark looking sky. And obviously it doesn't look that very realistic. So what we want to do is we just want to apply this effect to the shadows, and we don't want to affect the highlights. So what we can do is actually go into our layer stylizing box. So the way to get to this point is you want to just double click onto your solid color adjustment layer. And what we want to do is in our opening, so blending options here, we've got our blend if options. Now we want to do is drop down to our underlying layer. Now you've got a icon on the right and you've got an icon on the left. In this particular case, we want to take the icon on the right and move it over to the left. And if you can see, if I go ahead and move that, you can see it's starting to remove away from any of the areas that are highlighted. So what we want to do is remove it all the way into the point where you can barely see it. So as you can see, we can see a little bit here. And what you want to do now is press Alt or Option on your keyboard and click on that little icon. What it'll do is it will actually split it into two. And then what you want to do is take that one of those icons over all the way to the right hand side. And as you can see, it has applied it to the shadow areas without affecting the highlights. And as you can see, it works really well. Here is the before and here is the after.